Today on Capsite News, we learn about computers and how to use them. If you've never used a computer before, it's important to learn about the different parts of the computer. Let's take a look at the parts of a desktop computer. This is the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, the headphones, and the tower. Your monitor is the screen of the computer. This is where information is displayed. The tower is the main part of the computer, which contains the electronic brain or hard drive of the computer. This is where all your information and programs are stored. Your mouse is the device you use to click, move, and change things on your screen. It usually has two buttons. This is the right click button, and this is the left click button. You will usually use the left click button. Some mice also have a scroll button, which is in the middle. You can use this to scroll up and down text or of documents easily. This is your keyboard. It allows you to type in information. It is important to get used to the keys on the keyboard. I will go over some of them now. The letter keys are found in the center of the keyboard. They are arranged in order that makes it easy to type. If you look at the J and F key, you will notice that there are raised bumps on them. These bumps indicate where your index fingers should rest. Next, I'll go over some keys that you may not have heard of before. This is the shift key. It's found on both sides of the keyboard. If you hold down the shift key while trying to type a letter, it will change the letter to an uppercase. Next is the cap lock. Caps lock key is useful when you want to write in only capital letters. When you press the cap lock button, all letters will be typed as capitals until you press the cap lock button again. There should be a light on the keyboard to indicate if the caps lock button is on or off. Here's the light. Be careful with the caps locks key. In computer etiquette, writing in all capital letters is equivalent to shouting at somebody. Also, if you're typing in your password, make sure your caps lock isn't on, or it might reject your password. The next key is the tab key. You can use this key to make an indent in a letter, or to navigate between different entry boxes on your computer screen. On the right side of the keyboard, you'll find the Enter key. This key lets you move down to the next line and continue typing in a document. It also means Start in some cases. At the top is a Backspace key. This key deletes anything to the left. If you just want to move around your document, you can use these arrow keys. They can move a page up and down, left and right. You also can use the number keys to type in your numbers. There are more numbers at the top of your letter keys. These are some of the most important keys that you'll use most days. It's important to get used to them and to know what their names are. Keep practicing and I'm sure you'll do great. Reporting live for CAP News, this is Lindsay Belair signing off.